Hello my dear family members, if you are preparing for Accenture, then this video is for you. Today, I'm going to discuss about the latest front-end and back-end coding questions, which will be very much helpful for your upcoming drives and this can be repeated in your exam. So let me discuss the front-end code. So let me just share the question. So the question is guys, nothing but this. I hope this is visible to your screen that is this you are developing a recipe ingredient scaler that allows users to easily scale recipe ingredients up or down the project structure is in place but you need to complete three simple one liner tasks what are those let me just clarify that and what are the cutoffs let me just check that so this is the first objective second objective and third objective first objective is add the id ingredients list to the unordered list with the class ingredients list this is the task from html okay and this is the task from css set the font family of the ingredients list to monospace this is css and the last task is from javascript if you are from cluster 1 and cluster 3 that means you have java and c -sharp code respectively so those and sql both together have 80 to 85 percent of weightage and 15 percent weightage on html css javascript among these 15 percent 50 percent are covered in these two objectives okay and so out of 15 percent you have 50 percent number only in the javascript okay so let me just share the sample input output so that you can write the code and how much you have to write the code will i will also share that just wait so this is the sample input uh, i mean sample input output that is let's say this is the header one and this is the title i mean the label and here you have one input field what you have to do if you are writing one here and this is the default value two cups of flour 1.5 cups of sugar 0.5 tsp salt and three eggs this is the quantity by default they have provided now if i just write two that means i want to multiply all the values here all the values here we have to multiply so two will be four 1.5 will be 2.3 uh, sorry this will be only three 0 0.5 will be one three will be six okay so if i just click once then all are multiplied and all are doubled and if i now click again the scale it will keep scaling okay if i click on the scale it will be 8 it will be 6 2 and 12 you can see according to the multiply just you have to multiply using javascript this is the function okay so now let me share so now so at first let me share index.html and one more important thing that you have to write the code the compiler will be like this uh one html page will be their index.html and one index sorry style.css will be there and the third uh, file will be script.js okay so these three files will be there you have to integrate this style.css into html script.js into index.html okay i hope you understood now what is the task in html just just the task is all the codes will be written for you you don't have to write all the codes you have to just write one line what's that that is here you have to include the ingredient list id you have to include the ingredients list id in the unordered list ul and in the class ingredients list okay i hope you understood what's the task so these are written like another list then class blah 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 all the things are written for you just uh, click here and include id is equal to uh, ingredients list okay nothing else so all things are written for you already you don't have to do anything this if you have done this you got 25 percent of 15 percent okay i hope you understood now let me go to the next section that is index dot uh, sorry style dot css which is this okay 
what's the task here that is you have to include the monospace font family in ingredients list nothing else so just tag the ingredients list using has okay and just give the font family monospace nothing else you again got 25 percent of 15 percent so 50 percent you have already got so only now you are remaining with the 50 percent of that 15 percent right so let me just show the javascript code guys if you have very lesser knowledge then it's also fine just go through if, let's say if you have no knowledge in html css javascript then at least try to cover html css within these days only 10 9 days are available for you so html css javascript just learn it uh html css this will be also fine at least try to get 50 percent of the 15 percent right so that will also be work that that will also work i hope you want to now also javascript will not not that much hard uh, if you know java if you know any other coding language then you can perform any task okay so let me just tell you what we are doing at first this is the function it will be written for you at first multiplier uh, what we are doing this is a variable multiplier and we are getting the values from the input okay let me just uh, show you that is this is the multiplier field okay this is the multiplier field we are getting the value what user are taking input okay let's say two we have taken the inputs right it is uh, taking as the string we have to convert this into a number right so we have to convert this now using this parts float we are converting that okay so document dot get element by id this is the multiplier id we are just tagging that id we are just getting uh, access of that id and then we are getting the value user are inputting okay just dot value we are getting the inputs and storing that inside the multiplier variable okay now let let items so this is the next variable which is storing all the list of uh, values all the list of values so ingredient list li so we have tagged this list okay that means we'll get all the list values that means let me show so this value this value and this value so all these values will be in our list in items okay so this will be a node list and then items so this is the items this is the list right so we'll go through now all the element of the list at first let's say this is the list value what's that eight cups of flour so eight cups of flour okay at first we got this string right in item then let original quantity how we are getting the original quantity that is so in list we have a data quantity right data quantity named uh, uh, cl class i think now what's that let me just show you this is data quantity right we have this attribute here data quantity 2 data quantity 1.5 data quantity 0 0.5 this way right now we just tagged that value that attribute we are getting the attribute using this item variable okay item dot get attribute data quantity then we are checking if original quantity having any invalid data or not if having any invalid data then we'll continue if uh, we'll break the loop if it has a valid item valid values then we'll go inside the block if block now let's scaled quantity was scaled quantity that is the original quantity right now we have fetched so this was also a string we have converted we have first that value okay now original quantity into the multiplier we got here right so the multiplier that means 2.0 uh, we uh, like the user take the input and we converted that into uh, corresponding integer so that value into the original quantity we got here that will be multiplied so dead quantity 2 2.5 this way right so this will be multiplied now let the text part so text part is this eight cups of uh, flour 
so this is the full text part we have to convert this into uh like eight then caps then off then flour all the uh, all the uh, substring will be converted into into an array or list and then we'll update the first value first value this is the text part uh, array so we'll just tag the first value zeroth index value and we'll update that value using the updated quantity updated values scaled quantity right now uh, now item dot next uh, text content is equal to text parts dot join after updating we'll join these strings again let's say this is now 16 we'll now join this array 16 calves of flur okay so this will be joined after this line now again we'll set the new value new scaled value inside the item okay i hope you understood so this way you have to solve nothing else guys if it feels like very com uh, like complicated 